Jesus Christ, superstar, looks like a fella, but he wears a bra. Right. <laughs> In a new and supposedly radical production of Jesus Christ Superstar put on by the Edinburgh University Savoy Opera Group, Jesus is being played by a non-binary actor, whatever that means, and Judas is being played by a woman. Making this version of the show the world's first gender-neutral production of the rock opera. Kill me now! The creative producer highlighted the gender-neutral castings as one of the most prominent features of the production. And the musical director said, Taking away the boundaries of gendered roles allowed us to find a dynamic and captivating cast. Although Andrew Lloyd Webber has approved this change, he has insisted that they sing... I don't know how to love him about Jesus rather than I don't know how to love them. Seems to me that this is a desperate corporate PR attempt to make headlines with a show that has lost its edge a long time ago. How can they claim this production is radical or controversial when they're towing the establishment line on gender and identity politics? Joining me to discuss this is Sam Dowler because the guy who actually is making the show is too cowardly to turn up because he says he's got some problems with his mental health. Sam, hmm. tell me something. That's unfortunate. How do you look? Great, thank you. You do look wonderful. <laughs> How do you look a non-binary audi auditionee for Jesus Christ Superstar in the eye and say, why is this part not going to a non-binary person of colour? <sighs> come on. I mean, look. Stop trying to open it... up further cans of worms, Lawrence. Come um, on, love. As, as somebody who has acted a lot yourself, prolifically, let's say, um, yes. you know that directors strive to find something different to do. This is a 50-year-old musical, um, so they would be looking for something different, something to draw in the crowds, and they've got it. You've just said, you've just said, oh, they just want to get headlines and talk about it on the mainstream media, and here you are. But they're too scared to turn up and talk about it on here. The... You, you, are, you are Sam Dowler Christ superstar. <laughs> you are the only person that will actually come on and defend this so-called oppressed community. Well, it's, no, what, what we're talking about here, like, it, this isn't to do with an oppressed community or anything, this is to do with art, and you know that art is subjective. And this is... And but Jesus this, was not... Yeah. Jesus wasn't white. Jesus... This non-binary thing Jesus is white. might not have existed either. That is, you know... Don't do that's that a, to me, It's brother. a moot point. So, I mean, this is, this is a story. Like, he also didn't sing, you know... I mean, whether he was real or not, I'm pretty sure he didn't sing musical numbers. I'm pretty sure he didn't have a multicoloured coat either that he splayed around. That was around Joseph. Late. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Still on, quite come fine. Come on, love. Get your theology I'm right. getting a <laughs> Not really theology, more <laughs> musicology. All right, get your Philip Schofield parts right. But my point is, is that um, you know we've had, you know we've we've had, you know an all an all male. Um, oh, what's the, the what's the Swan one? Oh God, um, I've forgotten. Um, swan, uh, swan Lake. An all male. An <laughs> all male. Swan? Um, we've had an all male Swan Lake. We've had Glenda Jackson play King Lear. We've had like you know gender swapping of plenty of like uh, Shakespearean things. Of course, they try and keep it relevant. You've got um, Michelle, the wonderful Michelle Gale, playing Hermione in uh, the West End, um, and people were like, oh, but she's black. She can't be black. I mean, this is. Again, this is art. Art is subjective. Let's get let's get bums on seats. That is more important than than whining about who plays what. Of course, you know the the, um, the apostles, rather than played by men, as they are traditionally, uh, they're played by women and um, non-binary people. So I mean, like, so good for them. This is. I mean, I say let's watch the show first before we criticise it. Do you think there's more emphasis on uh, nowadays on being able to sort of switch gender than you can switch race, for example. You know, bear in mind that Jesus is a prophet in the, uh, in the Islamic religion as well, so he mm. sort of did exist. He would have not been a white person, mm. so surely there's... Always, always surely there's part... Person. Yeah, but surely... It's, yeah, OK, but that's the past, and as you say, we're looking at the future. We are. Surely this character should have been played by a non-binary person of colour. <laughs> Surely! Again, you're trying to, um, you know, poke the, poke the hornet's nest, I think, here, as per usual. Me, I darling. No, right? I'm getting the buzzing in my head already, but that could be something else. <laughs> um, it could be my mental health. Yeah. Um, however, I think, you know, as I said, this is, this is, this is 
you know, this is a, a, a great thing. It is, it is something different. It's not, it's not at the West End. It's in Edinburgh. I'm sure you'll try and find some sort of way to... It's uh, the National uh, Theatre uh, paying for it. Well, yeah, of course, yeah, that's, that's fine. And, and, you know, and again, what you, you know how important it is um, to support the arts and to, and to support theatres. Yeah, because so they've supported me so much <laughs> <laughs> over the years. Those pats on the back and the calls for me to be denounced and, by... Uh, the... We couldn't say whose fault that was. Um, but what we will say is that is that it's important it's important for um, for for the arts to, to to get people to go to to pay for the ticket to support the actors. But there's no the non-binary. You know that... There's about three non-binary people in the whole of the world. You've got, so you've why got two, you've got two on non-binary you've got two non-binary actors, Emma Corrin and Emma Darcy, playing two of the biggest parts at the moment. One of them played Diana in The Crown, and one of them is currently playing um, a, a character in House of the Dragon, winning awards left, right, and centre. So okay. these, these are non-binary actors. Can no you... one has no one has batted an eyelid about the fact that they are non-binary. Can you actors. quickly That's their tell life. me what? non-binary means? It means that you don't lie with either male or female. Even though you've got... Yeah, but not, not, in, not in your head, you're not. You don't feel that way. And that's, you know, and that's your prerogative to say so. OK, what do we agree about? That um, theatre is important. Yeah. And that um, acting is, you know... Great, whether you're a non-binary or not. Something that you should get paid for if, you're, if you want to do it. And, and also, you know, we support the arts in, in the UK and around the world. Sam is a legend for coming. A spokesman from the production said, I think it's great that our production is getting a lot of attention from the press and it is so right, important. Well, I'm, I'm, allowed, I'm allowed to do, take the mickey too. People take the mickey out of me, Sam. I think it's great that we're breaking down these boundaries in the theatre. That's what art is for.